Miami, just like Clemson, averaging exactly 42.3 points per game. We've seen De'Ari King a lot this season, and he presents a lot of problems for defenses. He does. I mean, this is a totally different deal for him, and he knows that. He played well when you and I had him against Louisville on the road, played well against Florida State, had a bye to kind of get healthy, uh, and now we'll see what he can do against a much bigger challenge in his Clemson defense. Number one, he's got to find nine. Find an ability to create create one-on-one -on -one opportunities. Brevin Jordan may be the most talented tight end. They'll use him at receiver tonight, flex him out, try to create one-on-one -on -one opportunities. To me, this is the most significant aspect of De'Ara King's game tonight. Can he, when he gets pressured, Brent Venables will confuse him, can he do this? Can he use his legs? I believe he will use his legs tonight. If Miami's competitive, it'll be his legs being a difference, creating, design run, Rhett Lashley, the offensive coordinator, telling me this week, hey, man, all in as far as what we're going to open up in this playbook, and we're going to use him more in the run game than we have these first few weeks. Miami offense has had a bye week to get a healthy. That includes Cam Harris, tailback, who's been off to a brilliant start in his first three games. King is swarmed and dropped by Balin Specter. One thing, they want to load up and take his, the ability of the quarterback to run the football away. He kind of gave him a look that he was coming down on Harris to back on his own read look, and then late comes and takes the quarterback. That is a play for De'Ara King. Quickly behind the sticks on second and 15. Tigers bring some pressure again. It's picked up, and the ball comes out to Brevin Jordan, the top pass-catching weapon. Bulls likes to attack. See him crowding the line, affecting the communication. Well, they're showing blitz, and they bring it. King from the pocket delivers a strike, and it's a first down. He found Jordan again. Take the hit. The blitz is coming. He sits in there, knows it, and somehow gets that throw off accurately. Now they get their tempo going. Jordan, the junior from Vegas, who goes over 1,000 career yards. It's a backwards pass. He can throw it. Lofted downfield. Tight end to tight end. You look for Mallory, but it's broken. Six. Defense, number 36. 15-yard penalty. Xander's reach. Still learning the ropes to that strong safety position. Quickly thrown out there. It was a miscommunication. Jeremiah Payton was trying to work. But, uh, you know, you're not looking out there and seeing those familiar faces we've seen. And pressure again. It's a scream, but the timing was disrupted. Starters back from last year. Third and ten. Pressure again. King is going to be sacked. All out aggression. They create one on one opportunities because of the pressure. And here's a very talented true freshman. Miles Murphy, he wins up getting home. He's lined up against John Campbell. When you bring... Canes are down two touchdowns. They've run six plays. And inside. Fumble. Bottled up. Yeah, balls on the Cheney ground. fell on it. Two true freshman tailbacks in the game as King drops back. And he'll be sacked for a third time. They gave up three sacks in three games. It's three and barely a clicking and hitting on all cylinders coming in to tonight. But look at the coverage downfield. Takes it away. Mike Jones at the top. Maskell ends up getting there. And how about the push in the middle? We all wanted to see how they would do in this game. And obviously so far not going well. Third and 19. Launched downfield for Pope. And it's broken up beautifully. Drifting way back in coverage with Well, oh, they are deep at corner. Brett Venables, defense corner, said the biggest difference with this team, first thing with all these new faces, he said the depth, how about that? The depth at corner. Booth is a five-star, great length. Down right now, man. We're not thinking about that. <laughs> King zips it across the middle, and that's a nice catch. Nope. Couldn't hold it. Penalties, and they've been sacked three times. Ugly. To run all the way for Derek King has some blockers and he is knocked down hard at the 20. That's Landon Zander. This Clemson defense. Watch how the jerseys fly. Good job by Nolan Turner setting that edge, and you can see why that King has not been able to hurt Clemson with his legs. He's been penned in, no scrambles. And that run sets up a third and six from the pocket. Protection breaking down. He's knocked down. Pushes the left tackle, John Campbell, right into him. And that's what made the ball go down into the into the ground. Different ways to affect the quarterback. Oh, yeah. And they've got all of them covered tonight. He's way tempo going, and that's the only way they're going to move the ball. Harris in motion, takes the pop pass, breaks a tackle, lowers the shoulder. That's a lot of stuff and a lot of hard work. Just stay to the Clemson game and how th this game is moving really fast for them. Well, they try to get him 
not line up. And finally, King is going to make a play. A scramble. Huge gain. It comes in territory. Downfield. Block still running. Spins and is knocked down at the Clemson 22. Finally by Phillips. But you see the electric King. Now they can get their tempo going. They bring the middle. He's been sacked and pressured all night, Kirk. But finally, De'Ara King shows why he's one of the most dangerous scramblers in the country. Third and eight. Linebacker blitz. Tough on the safety. 24. Great block by Wiggins to keep him alive. Getting even more yards. Of course. Comes that blitz. They bring it from the corner. King lost for the end zone. Jump ball fighting back where it was Wiggins couldn't make the play. And it's fourth down. Wiggins waits to adjust back to the ball, in my opinion, too late. He needs to see it, recognize it, come back now. You can't see it late and then at the last second. If you would have recognized it early, he stayed. Now see if King can create some magic here before halftime. He will launch it way over the head of Mark Pope, who kind of broken the route off. Come around right now. He's on the slot against Nolan Turner. Pressure again. King looking for somebody. Launches, and that's a nice catch. Now they call it. Make the ball. Oh, Harley couldn't get his feet down. Let's take a look at the end of the play here. Yeah, I don't think he got him down. Both officials right there on top of it. Nice job by Kendrick to hit him out of bounds, but I think he would have landed on the stripe anyway. Harris still waiting to make an impact play as the back, but they're looking the other direction. This is Jordan, and he is going to be ruled down. But that's before the marker. Xander's on the right back to work. The kickoff for the second half was a touchback, and now De'Eric King and this Miami offense, which gained 79 total yards in the first half, Kirk. 56 of them were on that one scramble. A nice gain yeah. on first down, as it is second and 11. Tigers crowd the line, bring the pressure. Ball gets out quickly, and Harley makes the catch, but hit very quick. Two of seven on third down in the first half. Now they're just showing it and backing out. King on the keeper, and on the delay, went nowhere. To the chain tonight, Bolden forced it. And now King and company from the 40, a pop pass. Rooster Knighton, the freshman who thought about Ball on these guys, the way they run. And they have it tonight, you're right. Harris on second and 11 is in the game. King launches downfield looking for Harley. It's a jump ball. Couldn't fight back to it. Times in college football thrown, underthrown intentionally. Booth is a very talented corner. You got to be able to find a way to work through him when you come back. If you can't. The first four games, third and 11. King, it's a straight run. Can he escape? Yes, works free. It's a first down. De'Aaron King with another productive play with his legs and the canes are at the now by Spectre 10 watch 10 chase him from behind right there he's got him it gives you an idea you know, he's, he's low center of gravity pulls out of the would-be tackler there now looks to launch to the end zone and it's intercepted fighting back to make the pick push Sheridan Jones really good position turns and looks for the ball when the receiver does the receiver goes down but Sheridan Jones is in perfect position had his arm there just kind of holding there knows exactly where the receiver is but most importantly got his eyes turned around to locate that football and go up and make the interception well King trusted his receiver try to make a play that was on the perimeter Jordan held to just three catches for 31 Mallory the other tight end has not caught a pass tonight and that's off of Jordan's hands. So even their top weapon couldn't come up with wet football. Skowski was patrolling in the this, this offense right now, whether it's a handoff, quarterback run, everything's taken away. Everything. Get that. Third and 12. King delivers. Harley makes the catch, but Harley's going to be stopped right there at the 25. So Miami in a deep hole now, and King trying to make something happen. It's a short throw, incomplete receiving weapon so far this season. has been kept in check tonight, not in there now on second and ten. They flip it short. Harley makes the catch, and he bumps into a blocker. Third needs six to keep this drive alive. Jalen Knighton, the freshman, is in a tailback. He goes out to the formation. King trying to make something happen, fires it over the middle. And the catch is made by Will Mallory, his first of the night, but the tight end stopped right. I was going to say, I mean, I 
to the naked eye live here. Forward progress is stopped right there. I think yeah, they're going to spot even, the ball back. I mean, close round After the further so review, multiple. the pass was complete, but the runner was short of the line of game. Considering how much they've been out on that field, with their offense not doing much, they're playing well. Okay. All things considered. Looking downfield, Harley tried to fight back, and that's a flag on the six. Pass interference, defense number 24. 15-yard penalty, first down. Fifth one we've seen, underthrown. Throw the deep ball, just throw it up. I don't care if they're covered. But that, that, there wasn't a lot of contact there at all. I, I, I mean, he, he puts his, he touched him. Enough to draw a flag in college football. No. Canes from the 35, immediately King pressured, escapes, fires incomplete. My, my point was, I think Lashley's telling King, put it up there if we don't catch it. Receiver. Both Cheney and Knight and the freshman in the game flanking King, who drops back and looks down the sideline, intercepted. He tried to get it to Mallory, and Darian Kendrick, the All-American. 5-11, but to have that, you got to put it up in the air. Look at the confidence of Kendrick. He plays it as a receiver, sees it the whole way, but 6-5, you got to float that one up in the air. It was too flat, and it gave the undersized Kendrick a chance. So a 25-point deficit now late in the third quarter, and King escapes, scrambles, and gains about six in the time. And Jake's got a, a great future with Skowski moving on. He would be the, the next middle linebacker. Higgins makes the catch and scoots for a first down. Yeah, looks There's like a flag a, down. Got to tonight. Offense number 28. 10-yard penalty, second down. Penalties. 14. Cheney is the back on second and 14. King looking to throw downfield. And the catch is made over there. Nice catch made by Wiggins. And they do get a first down working on Jalen Phillips. Have any chance at all. And really, Deere King working around in that pocket. A rare first down for Miami to try to get this offense going again with an up-tempo up approach. Three-man rush. They just let him dump it down to Cheney. And then throw underneath. It allows the defense to see the ball and rally to it. Second and 13 again, a three-man rush, allowing King to survey the field and take a shot and a diving attempt. Incomplete look for Wiggins. Covered by Sheridan's uh, down on the field still. Yeah, he had all kinds of time with just rushing three and dropping eight. And these are the plays, the content. He must have said, we got to make plays on. Soon, he's been laid low by COVID and injuries, but is about ready to go. King, they bring the pressure. Can he escape? Look. He cannot. He's going to be swarmed and dropped way back at the 28. Yeah, he, he's right here. They also bring Skowski. He's eventually going to work his way around. They love movement, love to affect the communication. Poor Derek King, just nowhere to go on that third. Like they, they, the conference they may again. have a shot to be out there one of those games. No, the, nope, the keeper. King, nice ball handling. He faked out the Clemson defense and got about 10 yards. Allison? Guys, it'll be tough for the Canes finishing out this. Because of course, this one is going to be tough, but you need Jordan back there. There's a direct snap, Cam Harris, and it's a reverse. They got a little flea flicker. Ball thrown downfield, and the catch is made. So they create a little confusion, comes up with a catch. One thing that's great about this is it ends up in the hands, instead of a, a wide receiver, it's the quarterback who lays it out there. And uh, what they've done. Told you they got to make a play in a passing game down here. It's tough to run. Harris goes in motion in third and seven, though. King's thinking about running. Look at those quick feet. Oh, and look, at he breaks free. And the quarterback down inside the five. He is just tough to tackle. You said so second and goal. Harris is the back. And King keeps it batted in the air and then batted down in the end zone. Nice play by Tyler Venables, the true I, freshman. Young Dix credit first. You see him off to the right there. He's just reading King. Can't get to him. Times it up perfectly. Great athletic move. And you see Venables back there almost had a chance to try to come up with the interception. Of course, what's the ball? Gives you a good look. Third and goal. King rolling, looking to run. Can he escape? No. He's going to be forced out of bounds. Canes have just not been able to get trying to keep the Canes offense out of the end zone. Cheney is the back. King against a four-man rush is flushed. Can he get there with his legs? Takes a shot, but earns the touchdown. 
Jones banged into him, but King pays the price, and this touchdown will count. You know what? That, that is such a big touchdown, Fulber, but you're talking about a guy that came in with a lot of hype. This is how you continue to win your new teammates over after you transfer from Houston. You don't give up in a 35 to 10 game. One of the few things that didn't work for Clemson tonight. Trevor Lawrence, 29 of 41, 292, three touchdowns. Travis Etienne running for a couple touchdowns and a buck 49.